Sonic Generations One of the greatest Sonic games of all time has finally been released onto modern platforms as Sonic X Shadow Generations, not only including a remaster of Generations but also featuring a brand new Shadow side story. And have a new Sonic game dropping, I decided to go for 100% completion. And personally, the experience was actually really good, except for one achievement in particular, but anyways, let's get out of the bat. We start off with Sonic Generations. So the first thing I did was Play the game. During my playthrough, I got trophies for completing Green Hill Zone, Chemical Plan, Sky Sanctuary, Speed Highway, City Escape, Seaside Hill, Crisis City, Rooftop Run, and Planet Wisp. Also, screw Planet Wisp. And since I know this game inside and out, I got the Big Bang trophy for getting on S ranks in every stage. And by no surprise, any song in the game, there's bosses. I defeated Metal Sonic, Shadow, Silver, the Death Egg Robot, Perfect Chaos, and Age of Goon for trophies. I got all the Chaos Emeralds, and finally, I finished the game. All in just one sitting. Now it's for all the side content. For collectibles, there's Red Rings, and... You play games with Sonic Colors or Sonic Frontiers, then you're a bit familiar with Red Rings pretty much. There's five of them in each stage across modern and classic stages, and a lot of them are put in most well thought of locations. And I say most because there's some that are put in the most questionable locations imaginable. Sky Century Act 1, for example. Bro, I've been spending three, four hours trying to get all the Red Rings, and it's almost three in the morning. Like, I'm literally exhausted getting all these. I literally had a YouTube guide on a second monitor. I'm finally done, bro. Also, fuck point of wish. This stage sucks, both classic and modern. I'm finally done for the day. I'm not even done yet, because I still got to collect all the child in every stage, which requires me to play Point of Wisp for like the third time already this playthrough, which I'm not excited for, but I'm not getting ahead of myself. I'm tired. It's three in the morning. I want to go to bed. Good night, everyone. A new set of collectibles in this game are the Chows. There's three Chows in each stage, and some of them are actually put in well thought of locations, but some of them are very well hidden. So I definitely recommend using the YouTube guide for this because some of these are not easy on your first time or going on blind pretty much. But anyways, yeah, fun collectibles, nice change of pace, got a trophy for that, moving on. Up next are the challenge zones, and there's four or five per zone, and honestly, most of the time, they're actually pretty good. And I say most of the time because there's still some bad ones sprinkled throughout. <clears throat> Vector's Mission, Charmy. Charmy's like literally the worst Sonic character of all time, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. But after doing all missions, gave trophy as a reward. I also got both Mad Skills and Hedgehog and All Up, meaning I have all collectibles available in this game. Sweet. Time for the most infamous trophy in this list, and that is, can't touch this. What you gotta do is hit defeat Time Eater without taking any damage at all, and as a kid, this gave me so much trauma. Literally the only achievement I didn't get on 360 version. But I did get on Steam though a few years ago, so there's that. I was very skeptical of going to this in this version, but honestly, it was kind of a cakewalk for me. I know I've gotten older, but... It was actually pretty easy. I forgot why it did, but what you gotta do is that whenever they shoot out the lasers, switch from 2D and 3D whenever it happens. That's not enough, but hopefully that is good enough for you. But even then, there's always a YouTube video for it too, so there's that. After defeating him with no damage, I got a trophy. And my worst worries have been finished. Alright, the kids had their fun. Now it's real man's turn. And that is... Sonic Schoolhouse. I'm Sonic. Click on me for help. Oh look, it's Benson. All right, jokes aside, time for Shadow Generations, which is just as good as Sign Generations, and I'm so excited for this. Time for the trophies. So first thing I did was just play the game, aka completing Space Colony Arc, Rail Canyon, Kingdom Valley, Sunset Heights, Chaos Island, Radical Highway, and I vandalized the fuck out of BioWizard, Metal Overward, and Akechi. Yes, Akechi from Persona 5. They share the same voice actor, by the way, too. It's actually crazy, but I can kind of see it. Moving on, I beat the game. All stages cleared. Afterwards, I went back to finish all the challenge acts, including the harder ones where you get by activating the Doom Ball and the White World, and went back to S rank every single main stage. And the S ranks in this game are sometimes hard, 
Like Radical Highlight, for example, took me a while to S rank, but afterwards I got both trophies and that's all she wrote. Time for the collectibles. So in white space, there's 96 treasure chests to go for, which has like music, books, and art pieces. And you need tokens for this. You have to go through every single stage and challenge act to get these tokens, which are pretty easy to find, by the way. Getting all 96 of them, get a trophy for getting all of them. And the worst one right here is the freaking Bolts trophy. In early on in the game, you see Orb on a Q-Bot, which you see in the original game, they got stranded in space by Dr. Eggman. You have to collect all 80 Bolts, and it will drive you insane getting all these Bolts on your own time. Like, I highly recommend going for a guy for these because you're going to be insane. I spend hours upon hours trying to find these damn Bolts, and like some of these are in locations that I already knew. I thought they weren't there, but they ended up being there. But the worst part about this too is the reward. The reward you get this for all 80 bolts is a Sonic Forces track. Imagine that. Imagine spending hours upon hours trying to get these stupid bolts. And the reward you get is a Sonic Forces track. And a Fookie too, but most importantly, you get a Forces track. And with that, also got all the collectibles in Shadow Generations. Funny enough, I didn't know the characters also count as collectibles too, so... The last two characters I need to talk to were Gerald and Maria. Did that, got a trophy, got collectibles, pretty cool. Funny that I think that Maria actually counts as a collectible too. Funny stuff, but... Alright, time for the last trophy. This trophy is called Untouchable, where you got to beat the last, uh, the final boss in this game without taking any damage whatsoever and Black Pokemon Tournament is actually a pretty easy trophy. Obviously it's a way better boss fight than Time Eater because Time Eater is like literally like one of the worst Sonic bosses of all time. It's actually like crazy. That's like the honestly like the only problem I have with generations. Which kinda sucks though, because like it's a pretty cool concept, just the boss is like so bad. But this boss is like arguably like way better than Time Eater. Without a shadow of a doubt. Over here? Nice. Nice. It'd be pretty cool if like uh if you beat both Sonic and Shadows like portions, you get um a final story. That I know that sounds too crazy, but like, that'd be like so fire. They did that, that. Personally, this game is so goaded. Like, come on, it's two games, two goaded games in one. Now time for the Doom Morph. And personally, I got used to the Doom Morph actually. Like ever since uh So the only tricky part is like getting through the uh the fireballs and like the lasers you get hit easily but once you dodge them like pretty well it's actually uh a cakewalk for me okay cool 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 nice we cooking we cooking we cooking bam yeah i do more of like takes a minute to get used to because they don't explain it pretty well like in the game you know massive like problems trying to uh use it pretty well Oh my god, nice. Okay, cool, cool. These are springs. Look at that. First phase is defeated. Now on to second phase. The only like hard part I can think of is like uh, trying to uh, dodge like the swings he does. That's like still the same move Metal Oak Ward did, but that was like easier. But uh, whenever like it does uh, pop up, just go up and down whenever uh, you see it. Over here. Nice. Oh shoot, I forgot the I, I shot a button prompts. That's why uh I don't see him there. That's gonna be very tricky. Bro, this is like it's so dope. Alright, over here. Oh, this is so bro, this game's so peak. Okay, over here. Nice. So always like go up and down whenever you see it. Over here. Nice. Look at that, bro. Boom! Almost done with this boss fight. This is a great way to end off the game, too. Okay, over here! Nice! Ooh! Okay, cool. Over here. Okay, nice! He's defeated. Okay, we have QT right here. Sonic Unleashed style. Alrighty, L2. Bro, these cutscenes are so sick, bro. A massive step up from Frontiers. And, like, I enjoy Frontiers a lot. It's just that game lacks polish. But this over here, bro is like peak that dude's over here okay mash a x button boom 
All right, the, the, the Dragon Ball kick, bro. This is so sick. Bro, we are so back in Sonic fans. And I got the Platinum. W right here. And when I got the Platinum, it took me 52 hours, even though it says 17 hours, but I spent a lot of time after I got the Platinum. But I definitely recommend getting this Platinum. It's a pretty good Platinum. Uh, not too hard. Pretty standard for Sonic game, actually. And like, obviously got some like pretty tricky ones, like a Time Eater boss fight. And uh... Red Rings and Chow, but like those are like pretty easy for a guide. And like Shadow stuff also like is guide too, so there's that. Really good platinum, probably like the best Sonic Platinum I ever like did since Frontiers. But yeah, definitely recommend this platinum. And want to see more of this, let me know in the comments down below. Catch y'all later. Peace, guys.